Hi, it's Corrine for Cut at Home, and today I'm excited to work on a project with you. I am using the gorgeous journaling and ephemera cards from Graphic 45. This is the Time to Flourish collection. And here are the cards. They match the rest of their collection. Um, they're the 12 months of the year, and they match them beautifully. So here's for January. Each side has something similar to this so it's perfect to journal on. In my case what I plan on making is a little journal book. Um, hopefully the person that receives this will add photos and journaling as well. So here is February. Sorry that's my own paper in there. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Sunflowers. That's for October, that's so beautiful. And then there is for December with the poinsettias. Gorgeous. So I also have some tags from the Graphic 45 staple collection. I plan to add these in my mini album as well. And I have some medium weight chipboard that I cut. These ephemera cards are four by six. So I cut my chipboard front and back cover to four and a quarter by six and a quarter. And I will be using the Time to Flourish paper as well. These also have the months of the year. They have little cutouts, they have little tags, so I'll probably be using some of each of these. And I also have a piece of paper from My Mind's Eye, Find Your Wings and Fly. I might be using this for the inside covers um, of the front and back cover. And I have something really exciting to share with you. So this is something new that I'm so excited to share with you. Let me take it out of the bag so there's not a glare. This is new Angel Craft Tape sold by Cut at Home and I've been using this for a while now. They sell it in one half inch and also one quarter inch. And let me tell you, any of you that follow me know that I love adhesives. I have a thing about adhesives. I love my tape. I love my glue. All different things. I love this stuff. Like I said, I've been using it for a while and they have just now released it and it comes in 42 yards, which as you can see is a lot of tape. And I've already used some of this. This is a really strong adhesive. It's great. I use it for mini albums. It's my favorite for mini albums. I use it for everything that you need tape for. Um, it holds glitter well. It holds ribbon well. This, um, it even holds um, some fabric papers very well. I've not found anything that this does not hold well. So they sell it on the Cut at Home store. They also sell it on Amazon. And there will be links in the description box for this tape. So I hope you check it out. This is, it easily tears. If you see me, I sometimes cut it because I just want that perfect edge. But it, it easily tears. And it's um, able to easily pull up the backing on this tape. So I highly recommend this tape that you give it a try. And again, it comes in 42 yards. So this lasts a long time and I use a lot of tape. And this is another one. This is the quarter inch. Like I said, I've been using this for quite a while and it's lasted me. So there will be links on the blog. Also in the description box, you'll see the product codes for this.
these down to the same height as my the rest of my pages which is four originally I started these out at four and a quarter by six and a quarter because my ephemera pieces are four by six so I made this a quarter inch taller and wider however I wanted um, I decided to keep the height the same I believe I'm going to leave the width or excuse me the length at six and a quarter so it'll stand out just a little bit more so because I did that I had already placed my holes I went ahead and just added a piece of decorative paper over the front and back and then just re punched my holes okay so now I'm going to cut out these um, months in here from every single month so I can add them to my book So when I was going to punch these out, I didn't realize that I had something stuck in the back of my cinch so these didn't push all the way in. So they cut the ends. This is how they should look. So what I decided is I'm just going to put another piece of paper that, that coordinates but yet doesn't, um, doesn't stand out too much and then I'll just re-punch them. So this will basically uh, reinforce those holes. Thank you. 